Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Gnome Dyes Coffee Add-ons assembly video. So I'll be using the new Gnome Dyes Coffee Add-ons along with the Girl Gnome Dyes, the Boy Gnome Dyes, and you might want the extra parts just in case. It's kind of handy to have. And I'm using um, P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones along with Doodlebug's Gingham Linen, the Buffalo Check Dot, the Candy Stripe and Sprinkles along with Catherine Pooler's Daily Grind 6-inch Pad. So first I'm going to put together this whipped cream hat. So I cut that out of Paper Trank white cardstock. I'm using Barely Art Glue. All my die cutting today was with my Anna Griffin um, Mini Empress machine. So I'm just layering those up. They're nice and thick. And then I used that Rainbow Petite Prints in the candy stripe and sprinkles on the stripe side for the straw because I thought, how cute is that? I'm using my reverse tweezers to get in there. I'm going to kind of stick that behind the little whipped cream hat, which is kind of fun. And there is a top for that. I just use the opposite side, just so, you know, it's more solid. And there's the inside of the straw. And there's this hat. So there is my little gnome, and I'm going to slip the hat on, but you will have to do a little bit of hat surgery. I'm just cutting off the tip, and then I will apply that little whipped cream hat to the top of my gnome. Remember, you can get that P13 stamping pad skin tones from Jaded Blossom, so check that out. So I do weight it down in between just to make sure it dries nice and flat. So now I'm going to put together this super cute little coffee bean cut out of dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then that is Rainbow Petite Prints in the Candy Stripe and Sprinkles. And I use the sprinkle side with a brown. And there you go. There's your coffee bean. I do weight that down. Now this is a little band for the hat. And I cut that out from that same um, Candy Stripes and Sprinkles in that aqua color. And what you do is you add it to the hat, and it actually doesn't go there. It goes up a little higher. <laughs> there it goes, yep. And there it is. You'll see that his main hat was cut from that daily grind pad from Catherine Pooler. Now I'm going to be adding on these little tiny coffee beans onto his hat. Now you could also use these coffee beans in the um, Sweetheart add-ons for the gnomes, there's a little mason jar, and those would fit perfectly in the mason jar as well. So you could have your gnome holding a jar full of little um, coffee beans if you want. So there we go. The coffee beans was cut from dark chocolate paper train cardstock. His beard was cut from rust cardstock from um, American Crafts with some close to my heart white daisy ink around the edges. So now I cut the little coffee pot out of paper train black cardstock. I'm going to add the little brim. Then the main part of the coffee pot was cut from paper tray ink and aqua mist. It's kind of like a nice uh, light aqua color. And then the coffee was cut from that same dark chocolate cardstock from paper tray ink, just layering it all up. And isn't that cute? So you could use that on your card without the hands if you want, right? That's how I'm showing you it at first. So first, my little balloon was cut out of American Crafts black cardstock because I just had scraps of that. Then I layered uh, black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink and then this is that same aqua mist from Paper Tray Ink, layering that down. And then the same dark chocolate cardstock. There we go. For the coffee part of it. Isn't that cute? And remember, you could use this on the card without the little hands, right? Adding on a little string that's cut out of uh, black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. There we go. And then I do weight it down in between. And then remember, you can add it to the hands layer if you want later. So I did cut out this big coffee mug out of white Nina or Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. It's just a scrap. And then I cut the main cup out of Doodlebug's uh, plaid polka dot pad. There we go. And what I did was I layered it up just to make it a little bit thicker. Now, when you're going to add your gnome, you're going to want to cut off his little feet those little feet nubs, and then you can slide them in there. So there he is. Isn't that cute? And then that's what it looks like on an A2 size card front. You can sort of slip them down. And there he is. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to use BG10 in um, a Copic marker, and I'm just adding some flicks in on some white paper tray ink cardstock for the dome part. So first I cut that out of paper tray ink white cardstock. Then I'm using this aqua mist again. From paper tray ink and then the little straw is cut from that candy stripe and sprinkles doodlebug pad in the pink i'm just going to layer that on then i cut the little whipped cream little whipped cream out of um, paper tray ink white cardstock again and i'll layer that on 
Um, once I add my little polka dot, that is from Catherine Pooler's um, Daily Grind Pad. Isn't that cute? I'm going to add the little whipped cream in the dome. And then I cut the little dome itself out of a vellum, a really lightweight vellum. You know, you can use any kind. And I added um, some of that Barely Art glue just around the edge. And I do weight it down just so it sticks down well. And you could use that on your card without the hands, right? So I do weight it down. Now I'm going to put together this little coffee cup. So first cut it a paper tray ink cardstock, then Nina Desert Storm 80 pound. There we go. And then the little coffee sleeve is cut out of Recollections craft cardstock. It's like a darker colored craft. I just thought it looked cute. So I'll add that down. And there is your cute little coffee cup to go. And I'm going to add a little tiny coffee bean on there because why not, right? And that is cut out of dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And there you have it. And like I said, you could use that on your card without the hands. Now, I did forget to add the coffee to this coffee cup. Crazy, right? You could use this for hot chocolate or tea if you want as well, right? So I'm just adding that dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And you could use that cup without the gnome and decorate it as well. But, you know, it's meant for the gnome to go in there. Next, I'm going to put together these little this little cup and saucer. First, cut it of gingham linen cardstock from Doodlebug. That's the linen side, and then I use the gingham side. Um, this little dark, darker piece is from that Catherine Pooler Daily Grind Pad. There we go. I did put that onto um, Paper Tray Ink Black cardstock first, just for the little hand. And I'm adding the hands on with my um, Studio Catty embellishment wand and a Stampin' Up! Mini Dimensional. They're just the perfect size for the hands. Now I'm adding my little cup on and that is cut out of that same uh, gingham linen but on the gingham side and then I'll pop up the little hand that's p13 stamping pad skin tones again and isn't she sweet look at her she's holding her little cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate right with a little cup and there you go so cute okay so next I'm going to layer up and add the hands onto these items that I didn't add the hands to before so I cut that out of I believe it's American Crafts black cardstock, but I use whatever scraps I have around and I'm layering it up and then I'll pop up the little hand and then you could use that with your gnome, which is super fun. Of course, these are all upside down. That's the nice thing about having the, having the extra parts. You can cut a whack of hands and then use them as you need them. Isn't that cute? Okay, and there's that little gnome, um, gnome dies sweetheart add-ons that you could use those little tiny uh, coffee beans in. I just think that's super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to add my little or my big coffee bean to the background layer. And then I'll pop up the little hands again with those Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the little miniature ones. And I will pop them on. So basically, I'm just adding on the hands now. And um, like I said, you could use them with the hands or without the hands, whatever floats your boat. There he is. Isn't he cute? Just too cute. Doing the same thing with this little coffee to go cup. There we go. I love that little needle tip on the Barely Art glue. And then I'm going to pop up these little hands again, like I said. So like I said, super easy peasy stuff. Isn't he sweet? Next, I'm going to put together this little coffee pot. There we go. And I will pop up the little hands with those Stampin' Up! Mini Dimensionals. And there we go. So kind of fun, right? Isn't that sweet? There we go. And I'll do the same with this little, um, you know, little sweet treat from the coffee shop. There we go. And I will add the hands in a second. Now, in the pictures, you'll notice that I did use a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add some highlights which you can do or not do, that's completely up to you. I think it adds a little something. And there she is. And remember, you can pop up the little hands on this mug to make it look like he's peeking out over the brim. And there you have him. Isn't that the sweetest thing? So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and be inspired by the team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're a follower over at the Jada Blossom YouTube site and the Leanne K YouTube site. We'd love to have you. And, you know, hit notifications and then you'll know when there's a new video up for you to see. So thank you. And we will see you soon in my next one. Bye.